right now I'm going to do cow face, gomukasana. Um, <clears throat> so first find your hips. And this is a good pose to just do a little bit of this. Just really grounding your hips before you even attempt to go there. It's a huge hip opener. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my right knee under my left. I'm marrying you. Stacking the knees. And I love this. I love this right here. I love this. This, uh, so this shoelace pose, it's double hip opener. Find your hips, find your hips. Ah, so good. But then, the awesome part is the feet. You can have your hands on your feet. I love this. I could do this all day. I love this feeling. Awesome. It's so good. Give yourself a little foot massage. Yeah. All right, and then I like to do like this. We're gonna droop the arms up, just droop them up. And notice, here's your natural shoulders, right? Look at my natural shoulders. But they're like, I work on a computer. That's what my shoulders say. So we're gonna fix them, but not yet. Because Gomakasana is actually, it's actually working with these computer shoulders. We're actually pulling them forward a little bit. We're gonna fix them later. Anyway, so here I, again, I'm mirroring you. And so I have my, I have my, Left, right, I'm my right leg on top, but I'm calling it my left. So, in case you're keeping track, I'm gonna take the shoulders back and down the back, open the heart, and then I'm gonna take my right arm forward and up and back, and I'm gonna grab my right elbow with my left hand and oh, get into that shoulder. Oh, you're always the best. It is the best. So, this is like we're like three quarters of the way into Gomakasana here. And I, I often stop here. I often stop people here. I think this is an awesome stretch. Maybe press the back of your head against your forearm here. I love this cue. It helps you bring the pose up into your neck, specifically up into the um, occiput area between your neck and your head. So good. Yeah. And then reground your hips, right? Because your left hip is trying to come up off the ground your left knee is off the ground. And so we're, you know, always keep moving, always keep finding it. And then let's take another digression. Let's take that hand that's between your shoulder blades and grab the opposite elbow from, from your face. I love this. And then, ah, uh, feel that stretch all the way down into your pecs, all the way up into your shoulders. Let's do a little side bend, why not? Lean to the left. And breathe. I know, we're finding our way to Golden Cross now. We're getting there. And then inhale up. And then exhale the other way. So good. And then inhale up. Right. Okay, so let, now let's go back. So come back to this place where you were holding your, uh, your right elbow with your left hand. Your left, right. Sorry, you guys. But mirroring is the hardest thing ever. Okay, so this is my left hand, and I'm taking it around and back. And so this is a recent revelation I've had about Gomakasana. I'm gonna turn around. So, <clears throat> we've been talking the whole time, like always constantly about this moment when your fingers touch, right? And when you always have this pose. Except, I don't really think, I don't really think that's what it's about. I think this pose is a heart opener, and I think it was a heart opener the whole time. And I think this business about the hands is just like for people who are crazy flexible with their shoulders. It, I don't think that's the point. So look at this heart opener right here. I've got my hand between my shoulder blades and I'm like kind of squeezing them together. That's beautiful. And then I'm taking this other hand around and back, opening the shoulder, and I'm pressing the back of my hand against the back of my heart, really doing an awesome heart opener. Oh, it's great. It's not about this. Who cares? It's about this. So breathe into that. Yeah. And then just to fix, fix up our shoulders a little bit, let's take them back out to the sides and grab our hands behind us and realign those shoulder blades. Maybe even coming forward if you want to, this is nice. And then release out of it a pose that I like after 
home class night is Navasana boat. Just realigning everything because we twisted things in a bunch of weird ways. And then come on up. Cow face. It's called cow face boat.